Good morning, Sunrise with Pastor Hayton, and I welcome you to spend a few minutes with me here on this Wednesday morning of life as we share with you just a few thoughts. You know, I was thinking about something that the psalmist had said, and I don't even remember what chapter it is or what the verses they are, but in one of the psalms we read where the psalmist was saying, Fearfulness and trembling come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for well, then I would fly away and be at rest. Lo, then I would wander afar off and remain in the wilderness. Well, I don't know exactly what emotions the psalmist was going through when he wrote that. We know there was fear. We know that there was fright. And he just had a feeling of being overwhelmed. I told Carol as we were driving along in the car, I said, you know, it sometimes seems like everything is just crashing down upon me. And without going into detail about the life that I live, I'm happy for the strength that I have. I'm glad that while many pastors my age have been enjoying retirement for a good number of years, I uh, have no plans for retirement at all. It's not in my future as long as my health holds, and I'm so glad that I'm still strong. As you can see, I've got most, I've got my hair, I've got most of my teeth, and I've still got the strength to do just about anything that needs done, and I thank God for that. And I'm thankful that I have a church to pastor. I'm glad that I have a people to love and to care for. I'm glad that I have a responsibility of preaching. And of course, since Carol's disability, much of the uh, work at home falls upon me. We have a grandson that has made his home with us now for four years and is quite dependent upon us. And I have to transport him just everywhere he goes and just a lot of care. And, and, and indeed, sometimes it seems like we just kind of feel overwhelmed. Now, I'm not complaining, and I know that many of you are going through uh, much worse times, but isn't it true that sometimes we think if I just had wings like a dove, I could just fly away and be at rest? Now, if you were to obtain any of my old high school or college textbooks, you would find on the fly leaf or somewhere in that textbook a work of art probably done while well, I should have been listening to the instructor, but uh, you know, I just kind of doodled away. And, and ever since I was in school as a child, I make no claim to being an artist, but I had a little sketch of what I called the cabin in the woods. And I don't know how well you can see the cabin in the woods here, but I have sketched that now for well over 50 years. And even now, there are times sitting at my desk when I want to doodle a little bit that I Make a cabin in the woods. I was taking an abnormal psychology class down in Drury College in Springfield, Missouri a few years ago, and our in, uh, instructor told us to take out paper and pencil, and she was going to give us what was known as the HTP test. And the HTP test, for those that do not know, you draw a picture of a house, and you draw a picture of a tree, and you draw a picture of a person. And with the HTP test, she was going to analyze us and, and uh, tell us a little bit about herself. Well, I immediately thought of the little sketch that I've made down across so many years. And without hesitation, I made the little cabin and I made the trees round about it. And out under the tree, there was the man lying down under the tree. She came around and she picked my paper up and she looked at it and said, you know, I've given this test to thousands and thousands of students, and you're the first one that ever drew a person laying down. And I said, what do you think about that? She said, I don't know what to think. And I said, well, maybe I'm just tired and I want to lay down and rest. Well, maybe that's uh, kind of what I feel like today. I'm just kind of tired, and sometimes I just like to have wings like a dove that I can fly away and be at rest for a little while. I just remain in the wilderness. Oh, I don't know what I'd want to for very long. I'd miss my computer and I'd miss my Facebook friends and I'm merely a pretty social person, but isn't it true there are times that we all would just like to get away from it all, just have the solitude, just alone with God. Well, I don't think I'll ever have a cabin in the woods at my age, but uh, I do think we can find rest in the Lord and even though life can be fearful and sometimes it can just overwhelm us, yet I believe we have a refuge, we have a place we can go, 
and renew our strength and renew our spirit, and that is in the Lord. So if you feel like you'd just like to fly away and be at rest, why, you can take a few minutes with God, and God will give you rest. Let's pray together. Lord, bless those of us that are longing for a little bit of rest. Pray thee, Lord, that thou would help us to know that we can come to you. You're the one that stood with outstretched arms, saying, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Now bless us this day, Lord. Pray that thou keep your hand upon us, keep us true and faithful to God. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing, on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.